Hi, my name is Muntaz Rabdi and I am a postdoctoral research associate uh, in the cosmology group in Geneva. Here I'm mainly working with Professor Camille and her group. Uh, before that, I uh, did my PhD from the Stephen Hawking Center for Theoretical Cosmology uh, at the University of Cambridge and I did my master's uh, from the University of Cambridge. How did you become interested in physics? Uh, I was uh, I, I, I became interested in physics in my ninth grade when one of my teachers gave me the books uh, The Brief History of Time uh, by Stephen Hawking and after reading that book I fell in love with physics uh, but I did not know that I could do uh, physics uh, for my career uh, when I went to the university I, I started to study electrical engineering and I started to take physics courses as electives um, one day I read a book uh, uh, by Stephen Weinberg uh, called uh, The Dreams of the Final Theory and this was a fantastic book and after reading that book I fell in love with physics again and I decided to, to move my major from electrical engineering to physics in my fourth grade. I never regret the decision. What is your research? Uh, my research is on large-scale structure cosmology. Uh, large-scale structure cosmology means uh, understanding galaxy clustering and trying to extract information about the universe from the clustering uh, of galaxies. Uh, I am mainly focusing on, uh, on developing tests for theories of gravity. Uh, so we know that Einstein's theory is one of, the, one of the main theories of gravity, but there are several modifications of it on different scales. And, and testing uh, and developing test the, to see which theory is the correct theory of gravity at large scales is one of the main problems in cosmology. How did you decide to do cosmology? Uh, actually, I wasn't quite sure uh, that I wanted to do cosmology until I went to Cambridge to do my master's. Um, I always think that I am interested in physics, but uh, what I should do, I didn't know. Uh, and one of the reasons for that is in developing countries such as Pakistan, we do not have role, man role models and mentors who can guide us. Um, so uh, I graduated from, um, from, from the university in Pakistan. I went to this institute, Abdul Salam International Center for Theoretical Physics. There they have a program for people coming from the developing countries. I studied high energy physics. I took courses in theoretical particle physics, quantum physics, uh, quantum field theory, and cosmology. Uh, that was my first encounter with cosmology. Uh, then I applied for a master's program at the University of Cambridge and there uh, my main motivation was to take mathematical courses uh, and physics courses. But when I took the cosmology course, I became very fascinated by cosmology. And then I took an advanced cosmology course and there I learned CMB analysis and a large scale structure cosmology. I also wrote an essay on, um, on effective field theories of inflation and, uh, and, and non primordial non gaussianities and how we can extract fundamental physics from primordial non gaussianity I think that was the turning point when I realized that I would uh, like to specialize in cosmology for my PhD. What was your PhD research and what skills you learned during your PhD? Uh, I, uh, my PhD research was on theoretical modeling of large-scale structure uh, using the effective field theory of large-scale structure as well as cosmological n-body simulations. I developed galaxy biasing models. The galaxy biasing means uh, how can you extract uh, the dark matter distribution by looking at the bias tracers of dark matter such as galaxies. There are several skills I learned during my PhD. Uh, I learned how to solve problems uh, using computers. I learned mathematical simulations. I learned uh, data analysis and statistical modeling. In soft skills, I learned how to manage uh, the project, time management, and how to work with a fellow scientist and how to uh, give presentations in conferences. Why did you pursue to do a postdoc after your PhD? Uh, so I really enjoyed uh, my research during my PhD. And PhD experience sometimes is like a roller coaster. Uh, we are very excited about our results, but sometimes nothing seems to work. Uh, so there were some times when I thought about uh, pursuing other career. But at the end of my PhD, I was very excited about cosmology and I wanted to do further research. And when I got this offer from, uh, from Professor Camille Group uh, to work on the modified theories of gravity uh, using large-scale structure survey, it looked quite promising and I was very excited to, 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 to join her group to do a postdoc. How was your experience working in Geneva? So 
So I, I arrived in Geneva during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic time. It wasn't the best time to move to a new country and start a new job. Uh, so that was a difficult part. But apart from that, I, uh, I'm really enjoying my experience in Geneva. Geneva is a beautiful city. And the group, the cosmology group in Geneva is very friendly and very social compared to all the other groups that I work with. What are your future perspectives and aspirations? So I, uh, I have recently published a very exciting research with, uh, with Professor Kamil. Uh, we developed model independent tests for gravity using uh, large scale structure surveys. Um, I'm also expanding my research uh, uh, in cosmology. I'm learning uh, simulation based inference of galaxies. Simulation based inference of galaxies means developing machine learning based models to analyze large cosmological data sets. Uh, so, uh, as far as I'm enjoying my research and what I'm doing, I would love to stay in academia, but I also want to keep my options open. And I think uh, as a physicist, the skills we developed as a physicist are very unique and very useful in other fields as well. Uh, not, not only do we learn the, um, how to solve problems using computers, we learn also uh, how to uh, do data analysis, computational skills. Uh, but one most important thing that we learned as a physicist is actually how to how to model almost any system using first principles. Um, so I think uh, these are the skills that I can apply to solve other problem problems in other fields as well. What advice would you give to students who wants to do cosmology? So these are quite exciting times to do cosmology, and anyone who is interested in cosmology, uh, they should pursue uh, their career in cosmology. Uh, I think one of the advices that I would love to give to students uh, is that they start working on the research project as soon as possible with faculty members. Um, develop new skills, learn new tools, uh, be curious, always ask questions. Also I think uh, writing a research blog is a, a good way to learn new ideas and also to uh, connect with a broader community. <laughs>